Should I spend all this time rolling my sleeve or should I just leave it? I'm gonna leave it. Hi, my name is Brenna Green. Welcome to BookTube. Today, I'm here to do another book talk. This is on the book, Boom, Little Beach Street Bakery. This is by the author, Jenny Colgan, and apparently this book is part of a series. This book is about a girl named Polly, and she lives in the city with her boyfriend, but they go bankrupt because they own a business together. So they take a break and they split apart, <laughs> and Polly moves to a small town, so. Yeah. This town has a significantly lower population and there's no like fancy restaurants or hotels or anything like that. From there, the story kind of follows Polly in this small town, moving on with her life, baking a lot because that's her favorite hobby, and just finding herself through the story. See? See, what had happened was I was kind of struggling with rating this book. I was gonna rate it at three stars and then I was like 3.5 stars, three stars, 3.5. See, I was going back and forth because this book was giving me like extra mixed feelings. So we're gonna talk about the good things and then we're gonna talk about the bad things. Okay, the good things. I checked out this book from the library because it said beach in the title, not even a lie. I thought this book would give me like super good feels, extra good vibes, and that's what it did. It kind of reminded me of Because of Win Dixie. If you guys have seen that movie, it's about this little girl that moves to a town with her dad and she kind of brings the whole neighborhood together over this one summer so that's one thing that I liked another thing that I liked was that I read this at the perfect time this book mostly takes place in the spring so everything was just starting to heat up another thing I really liked about this book was in the beginning when Polly moved the place was described as this gray dull place that barely anybody could appreciate its beauty but then the farther you get into the story the more it transforms into this beautiful beach paradise I did really really like how all the places were described I could picture all the scenes very very well in my head I also liked all the characters even even though the main character was kind of giving me mm, mixed feelings, all the other characters were great. I really enjoyed Huck. He was like the perfect surfer boy. I feel like he was just so happy he could adapt to like any place that he was in. He was just a happy person. I like happy people. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but Carenza, Holly's best friend, was so great. I feel like she gave the story a little bit of flair. And if I was in the story, I would totally want to be her friend. Another thing I really liked about this book was that she was always doing something. I did not get bored, even though I almost DNF this book. The reason why I wanted to DNF it wasn't because I was bored, but because I got sick of the love triangle and I was just like, no, but I had 40 pages left, so I just... I just finished it. But I'll talk about that later. The last thing that I really, really liked about this book was that it was very unpredictable. I can really appreciate an unpredictable book. I like to be caught off guard a little bit. On to the bad things. There's not many bad things, but the bad things were big, and that's why they brought the rating down a little bit more. First thing, main thing, was the weird behind love triangle, bro. I don't mind love triangles. Like, the Bella Edward Jacob love triangle was pretty lit. <laughs> but this love triangle was so weird. It was just... Ugh. It was like Polly didn't even know what she wanted, bro. She was giving like hella mixed signals. Her and one of the boys in the love triangle weren't even good for each other in my opinion. She didn't understand any of his jokes. And I felt like they were just in it for the attraction. Like they just thought that they were attractive people so they could just start a relationship out of the blue and it was just not working. I couldn't ship it. I also did not like how the further I got into the book, I disliked the main character more and more. Holly seemed like such a cool and relatable character in the beginning and she was super stable and she knew what she wanted. Whereas towards the end of the book, she just kind of went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over this one boy. One boy! And I was just like, there's other fish in the sea. You know that, right? I might be heartless, but dang. Okay, in her defense, she did try to move on, but low-key she was. She was making herself crazy. I do not want to end this video off on a bad note, so I will say that it is worth a shot. That was my book talk. Did I talk too much? I feel like sometimes when I want to read a book and I watch a booktuber talk about it, they talk too much about it and then I don't really feel the need to read it anymore. So if I did that for you, I'm very sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you let me know in the comments what book you're currently reading. Yep. My Goodreads link will be down below if you're interested and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.